Um, hi everyone, so my name's Dean and I'm going to talk about uh, the education problem about the Mexican community. So um, the article, the critical race theory of Chicano and Chicano education and the paragraph I'm going to talk about is, the, is actually the first one. So it gives a graph and some words to explain it. So we got like a hundred students from elementary schools and and then we turned it to 44 grad from high school and 24 continue to college and 11 go to four year college and so on. And some of them got dropped out of high school and or the 30 of them go to community college and so on. So. Um, what I wanted to talk about is like, uh, if we're gonna talk about the critical crisis about this education system, so uh, the first one I'm gonna wonder is that why so many students um, got dropped out of schools? And so a few years ago, there is uh, research uh, that want uh, the economic Nobel Prize about the about poverty. So when they discuss like um, what sort of things that uh, keep students away from school, it's like like they put up a studies about Indian, and they are trying to discuss like why kids are rather work at homes and their parents refuse to send them to schools. So like because they think uh, it's an economical problems because like they think going to school is worthless and and like there is nothing much to make out of it and the schools isn't going to help them anyway so uh, they're just not paying too much attention on schools or like or education they're not willing to um, uh, pay the cost of the expense for the education so but like uh, but the researchers found that there are a few ways to get parents like stick on the schools and like the first one is like uh, provide health care so like from like, I'm not saying like Mexico Mexico is not a very wealthy country so uh, the thing the thing is uh they're they're not willing to provide like too much resources to the students to like go to school but these things can be done by the governments and by their federal governments and like so if the government provide like sort of health care or or a better education resources to the schools and which means there will be more like lower income parents that's willing to send their kids to school because they can get free health care and like if you provide more like something like lunch and that can uh, reduce the the expense that parents spend on their kids so that will also like put more kids to school and there is an also more problems that can show on this graph is like um, we can see like almost half of them got got to high school which is a very fundamental uh, education and but a uh, much more fewer of them go to college or uh, should I say four-year college so um, there's another problem that I can see that is a really lack of uh, higher education opportunities in here so um the college itself is not the, the higher education system is not like fulfilled to these students in chicago and things could be done there like uh spend more expense on building out like better colleges or universities and um the people like like provide funds to research so they can like 
like build up the like academic environment and so on so uh what we can tell here is that the chicano community is not paying too much attention on higher education um and but we can see like some of them go to community college and things could be done there like because some university could be very expensive and uh the similar courses can also be provided at community college so i think uh, there are things to be done there so that would be all thank you